my mouse. I am going to move the window down on my end a bit, just so I can see my count. There we go, that's better. Good, and everything's lined up. Okay. June 2022. One life run, Odyssey. Hello, shrug, short whistle, jump up. Fine, perfect. Last week's Exodus wasn't great, and I think I'm going to have to start practicing Exodus again, but I'm... I'm in two minds with Odyssey. Some weeks it's great, some weeks it's terrible. And I actually want to properly try and speedrun this one someday. But from what I understand, because of how many different ways Abe's Odyssey can play, I believe it's going to be speedruns are only done with the PC version. Mostly because there's a lot of wait time buffering you've got to deal with with the PS1 version. Even though, quite frankly, I don't see it as much. But again, I'm emulating the Japanese version because this is the only way I can play Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus together in Japanese. They never did a PC port of Exodus in Japanese. And I'm weird and I want it all to be in Japanese. Okay. Whew. Ramblings from the back of my mind. Come on, mud. So yeah, Odyssey is a weird one. Last month's run was beautiful. Touch wood, that's what I want to try and keep aiming for. And I keep saying, oh, I'll, I'll do that chant trick in the first secret passage in the stockyards because I know I can do it pretty well. And then I never do it. And I keep saying, oh, yeah, I'll do it this time, I'll do it this time, and then I don't. It's the best opportunity I think I have to up my escapees count, so I think... In tonight's run, it is exactly what I'm going to do when I get into the stockyards. I'm actually going to try the first secret passage for the first time in about five, seven attempts of an Odyssey One Life run. Yeah, I don't think I've attempted the first secret passage in the stockyards since what month are we in now? June. Yeah, October-ish. It's been that long. Hello. Hello, come on. Okay. Take you guys back first. So that if anything happens in the secret passages, I have a workaround of a slightly better count. But yeah, really glad to hear okay. that things are going very well with work, Sadie. Uh, I hope anyone else who's tuning in is Hello. having a wonderful June. Okay. In spite of, in, in, the, in the case of where I am, the fact that it is miserably cold and every time you look outside and you see even a glimmer of sunlight you look away for 10 minutes and then it's completely overcast drizzling with rain it just the the color of outside just has that slight undertone of miserable Lovely and warm where you are. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Like, I love being warm in winter, but I still prefer winter to summer. I would rather be... I would rather be rugged up in a weighted blanket like I am right now at my desk than in the smoldering hot. With sound glitches happening everywhere, losing my mind. You can't even rely on that in the summer in the UK. Ah, oh, fair enough. I... Yeah, forgot about that. I should not have chanted to open the bird puddle when I still had a grenade. I've managed to avoid doing it up to this point. I'm glad it doesn't do that in New and Tasty, though, because... Yuck. That would be a pain. 
three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, that, that does add up. Three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I've... I've heard both from fem... Yeah. From family who've gone to the UK and also from friends who live in that area that summer is quite unpredictable in the fact that it's 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 hot but it's not a pleasant heat necessarily it's it's not a where it's not a when melting kind of heat but it's not necessarily like a you know I'm at the beach and just soaking in the rays kind of heat it's kind of unpredictable Apparently you guys get um, summer rains or summer showers a lot more frequently than we do. When it's... sometimes when it's... I was about to say when it's not even overcast, but... Isn't it the UK that it's... There's, there's a chance of rain always, is an analogy I've heard one person make. When it's hot, it can be pretty humid and gross, but if we're lucky to... Okay. Okay, I follow. Yeah, that's that's that that's that's sounding familiar. Yeah. That is safe, right? Okay, good. Okay, good. I thought I just killed myself there. That's not what we want to do. If we can avoid it. Ah, <sighs> la di da di dum. Also, the difficult thing of Hello. Hello. was not talking to you. The difficult thing of with the way Hello. weather Hello. has been in Australia, especially, okay. we've gone from okay. weather extreme to weather extreme. Okay. 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 It's actually kind of hard to gauge whether uh, the colder temperatures Hello. are better Hello. for. Hello. For flood recovery at the moment, because some people are still working through that, and it's a, it's an absolute nightmare. But I imagine going through all of that stuff in muggy, damp heat would probably be worse than in the cold, but I can't be certain. There we go. No one's getting sword in the head today. I will say, though, every time I go to Phillip Island, I find that I hit my limit of, oh, that's right, it is freezing cold here, and this is where it even gets too much for me. That, that point of, if you're not rugged up enough, or you don't at least have some kind of wind brace on you, something to brace yourself against the cold and harsh wind, it just... It feels like you've opened a fridge door and someone's throwing a bunch of knives at you. It's, it's that brisk. The atmosphere kind of helps balance it out. Well, with the penguins and everything. But my goodness! Hello. Hello. Go on. Okay. Don't send me to Antarctica. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. Oh, absolutely. And that's the thing is that... Hello. Go on. Okay. Australia is that weird place that we have an Alps, we do get snow. But we don't really have white Christmases. The closest to a white Christmas you get is, you know, uh, rather unfortunate memories of me in 2000 and... I want to say 2001? Where we had a really massive hailstorm. And me, in my infinite youthful, ignorant wisdom, just thought, oh yeah, hail's close enough to snow. It's the best we're going to get, so this seems like a prime opportunity to make a snowball. I made a ball, it wasn't snow, and my hands didn't like it. Ten-year-old me had never seen his hands go quite so purple in all of his life. So that was quite insightful for me. Have a nice. 
Yeah. Ah, dang it. Well, it's a start. Okay, if I do this right... Yes! Got it! I've been trying to work out the best way to do that without the Sleek for ages. Because there is a lot of tension that comes from dealing with that Sleek and trying to get the other one down without getting Mudokin's shot. I found the right angle and trajectory. Crouching here, throwing at the wall, and then running away. That it works so well. I love it. I love it so much. Hello. Hello. Come on. Okay, come on. You come with okay. me. Let's not jump into anything stupid. Come on. <laughs> okay. That should put us at 15. Lovely. And we still have a grenade, because we will need it. Beautiful! Yeah, so when I was still in primary school, I had the, um, the genius idea of making a hail ball in lieu of the fact that we didn't get snow. Because I wanted to try and emulate what little of a quote-unquote white Christmas or a snow day I could with what we had. <laughs> I also partly blame the Simpsons episode with the um, the snow day that gets them trapped at Springfield Elementary. I always think back to that as just being that point where I'm like, I really want snow down here. I'm just thinking, they got trapped at school and Homer had to bring his plow out of retirement, i.e. using Flanders' roof on the front of his truck. Hello. Hello. It is, it okay. is, it is kind of a, a double-edged memory of, oh yeah, I want to enjoy snow, oh, this is awkward. Oh. And my poor Nonna in the background just stammering and muttering to herself in Italian, just looking at my mum, just going, ah. Excuse me, you can get shot there? 